The most basic movement in Vim is H, J, K, and L. But what most don't know is Shift L and Shift H will take you to the bottom and the top of the screen. So to quickly navigate downward, Shift L followed by J, and navigating upwards, Shift H followed by K. To move across words, use W or E. E takes you to the end of a word, and W to the front. If you want to quickly delete or change a word, W is best. To jump across words backwards, use B. For capitalization, visual highlight with V, E to the end of the word, and shift tilde. But this will just swap the current case. To make all capital, shift U, and likewise for just U. To find and replace, or substitute text, enter command mode with colon. Period followed by S means just the current line. Period comma dollar sign means here to the end of the file. Specifying exact line number ranges as simple as you'd expect. If I want to replace a variable name only within this function, I can see which exact line numbers it begins and ends with. A useful way to quickly search for next or previous occurrences of a word are pound sign and asterisk. But another use of these is speeding up a find and replace. Every time you pound or asterisk, that word is placed into the search register. When substituting, you can leave the search part blank, and it will remember what you were searching from earlier. Percent %s means substitute every word in the file. Next, the more fun part is windowing. To open up a file in a vertical split, vs followed by the file name. If you want to change the direction it opens, set split right or no split right. All split navigation commands begin with Control w in normal mode. This followed by H or L will shift to the right or left tab respectfully. To close all other splits other than the one you're currently on, Control w then O for only, and Control w then Q for quit to only close the current one you're on. To modify the size of the current split, use the arrows slash brackets. Less than decreases the width, and greater than increases it. But this takes a while, so to change a variable amount, control W, then a number, say 8, then arrow, to move to a larger amount. To even them out for equal width, control W followed by an equal sign. Instead of using terminal multiplexers like tmux, you already can have an integrated terminal within Vim. Use this command to open an integrated terminal within Vim, Enter terminal mode to enter commands as if you're entering insert mode, such as with A. Then to exit, control backslash followed by control N. And for one last tip, I'll show auto-incrementing numbers. Though you can replace columns of digits at a time manually, another way is using control A to auto-increment. Control X will do the opposite and decrement numbers instead. Highlighting a column, then G followed by control A will evenly increment numbers across lines. To increment by a count, such as by 2, enter 2 followed by that exact same thing. That's all, and make sure to like and subscribe if you liked the video. Thanks for watching.